Right guys, now I'm going to show you how to make a pair of jeans uh, using your texture pack and meshes. The ladies have already got theirs to practice on. So let's go. So first of all, I want you to go and find your uh, texture pack folder. Mine is way down here. We'll open it up and go again look at this for the MA you've got your male textures and your MA textures the MA textures again are the likes of hair and all sorts wings tails you name it all sorts that's not what we're looking for just now back and double click on the male textures as you can see we've got a shed load here you've got all your skins, just like in the ladies, but different. You know, it's for males, obviously. <laughs> so this is all your skins here. But we're not wanting to do skins, we're wanting jeans. Down and find them. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. If you can't find it quickly, just type in jeans up in the search bar, up here, and up they will come. So, guys, now. We'll do a nice pair of these jeans, I think, faded ones. So what you do is you click on it and then right click and open with, and again, if GIMP isn't up for you, but it should be if you followed the other tutorial. So click on GIMP. Now again, like I said in the girls' videos, it's easier to open up your texture pack first than trying to find it through GIMP because with GIMP all you get is... Uh, a list no images whereas this way you get the images and you can see what you want you can see the guys already have a belt <laughs> so hide that for a minute and just close down your texture pack so you don't get confused open that up again move tool go into file open as layers and again we want to be on our expansion uh, on your texture pack not your texture pack but you want to be in your yeah we we'll, but we want, we're now looking for your designer kit. So you go back and then you find your designer kit. Double click on it. UV maps. Now, it's not the HF lower body we're looking for. This one is the HM. So look for HM lower body. Now I'm going to make these straight leg jeans. So just scroll down until you see. It, for the men, it doesn't say straight leg, it just says jeans. HM lower body jeans. So click on that, making sure it's highlighted. And you can see up here in the preview pane, click on open. And again, this is far too big. So go into layer, scale layer, making sure that's closed. Click on 1024, click in there and it changes. That's because those links are closed. Click on scale. And as you can see, that brings it down nicely. Now we want to bring the mesh underneath. So just click on the top layer, which is the mesh, and bring it down. This puts your jeans on top. Go up to the opacity and lower it to about 67, just so that you can just see the mesh in there. As you can see, it's exactly the same idea as doing the ladies' jeans. So click on your to tidy. Again, I don't like following these because, like I say, they look awful untidy once they're actually on your avatar. So I just tend to use my rectangular select tool. Go down, left click and hold it down, and then just, when you want to expand it like so, just click inside the yellow, yellow lines, and bring it up again to about there. Now ladies, if you're wanting to practice this, you'll need to go into your RLC closet and change into a male avatar. That's easy. Just click on the agenda up above. Most of you will know that. So in here, right click, click edit, cut. And as you can see, I am on the wrong layer. I'm on the mesh layer. Messed up. So go back up to edit and do cut and then make sure you're on the top layer. Right click, edit, cut. Ah, I know what we did wrong. Undo cut. We didn't add the alpha channel. See, that's what happens if you don't add the alpha channel. So just right click, click on add alpha channel. Now it'll work. Right click, edit, cut. There we go. 
Okay, so now over to your zoom, not your zoom tool, your reselect tool, zoom into 200, and again, just cut right round the image. Just follow the actual lines. Just follow the mesh lines, guys. And in fact, if there's some inside the mesh line, just go like so. No, don't, because that will actually give you a blank space. So just bring that back up to your mesh line for now. And I'll show you how to do something with that later on. For now, we're not worried about it right now. Just follow this all the way around. Guys, I'm going to pause this video again while I'm doing this. Okay, guys. Once you've done that, zoom down to 50. Click on Select, Grow. Bring it up to 15 if it's not already so. Click OK. Making sure you're on the top layer. Right click, Edit, Cut. See, I messed up. I'll show you what I didn't do. Go into Select. I didn't select and then Invert. I mean, that Edit tool, that's what that's there for because it's very easy to make mistakes. Now, once you've selected Invert, just right click, Edit, Cut. And you can see you've now got a nice little pair of jeans. So you go back over, making sure you're on the top layer. Get the opacity back up to 100. And there's your jeans. And that, now go over to Click Outside, no, Inside, sorry. Double click Inside, and that removes the outline. Now, we need to sharpen these up a bit. So go into Filters, Enhance, Sharpen. As you can see, mine are already set at 80, but you can just play about with that. As you can see, it blurs more, but bring it up to about 80. You've got a nice sharp line. You can see the pockets. Just scroll about, and you'll see what you've done. Okay. And guys, I'll show you how to replace this uh, belt and everything else. Right, so click OK. You can see that just sharpens it up enough. Go back over to your layers box. Highlight your mesh and hide it. Now don't worry about this little bit up here because um, if we take that out just now, then you will end up with a blank space in your tummy. But I will show you later on how to remove that when you're because we'll be adding a shirt right click on file and as you can see that's the mesh that's there we don't want that so you click on export as go up to the top where it says name left click down highlight and then rename now because these are blue jeans but they're male i'll just call them male you can call them whatever you want so long as you know where they are Make sure it's called desk. It's on the desktop. Click on go down and click on select file by extension. Scroll down and so until you see the ping image, and then click export. Click export again. You don't have to worry about any of those defaults or anything because GIMP is good. It saves those. Hide, and then go back into create outfit. Click on new style. Uh, gender is male, that's fine. Model category is legs. Model is jeans. And in the layer, click on clothing. Click on add texture, browse, and then find your jeans. Now these are the ladies' jeans. So you want to make sure it's the blue jeans male. That's why I call them male, so you don't get mixed up if you have made female jeans so blue jeans male open and then click upload texture and then publish now at this point ladies don't test yet because it won't work if you're making these male jeans go in and select your male avatar Go in and select your male avi. I've, I've already got one saved. I tend to save them so it's easier. So I'll go into my male avi, apply, 
and you always when you're changing your avatar and up here you see you've got your gender you can change from male to female if you haven't got one saved okay and then cl always click on save changes otherwise it doesn't save it for you go back once you've saved your changes go back in your closet and then go back to your RLC closet and click on test on outfit. If you click on test on outfit while you're in a different gender, it'll just error message for you. You just have to go back and do it again. Test outfit on avatar. Oh, RLC, come on. Right now you can't really see mine here because I've got a top on and if I go into underwear there's nothing. So what you do, oh, come on RLC. So if I go into underwear as you can see there's nothing there so go back to clothing, click on save changes and in your closet up here just click on the top and now guys you can see your jeans. And they look pretty good. But like I say, I'll show you as well how to add different belts, pockets, um, rips and all that, frayed rips and all that, because all of that is in GIMP. Apart from the belts, I think, and pockets. But the rips and all that are brushes, and it's very easy to use, and I'll show you where to upload those too. Okay, guys, that's your video done.